right, so this is the newly released Zika 7X. Uh, if you follow my channel a while ago, I did a video on the Zika 001. And this is the newly released 7X SUV. I think their first SUV from Zika. And we're going to do a quick walk around. So I'm just starting from the front. And to start here, you have a camera here. Just like with all or most e-cars now or modern cars and you have some vents here that will open up when there's a need for cooling of the batteries and you have your Zika badging right here and you have a light bar running from the left all the way to the right the end and if we move on to this side I'm not really sure what to think of the front of this car I don't think it's the most pretty I think the 001 has a much more pretty uh, front and then you have this curved bonnet so on the curved bonnet then you have your tires you have a 265 45 rim 20 tires with very this very solid nice looking rim with some orange big brake calipers slapped on this car really really nice I like the foot well it's rounded very very neat sporting some Michelin tires and this car is camera galore so you got a camera here two cameras underneath the rear view mirror and you have the rear view mirror just like that on the other Zika models and if I just step back a little bit um, the design design wise in terms of door handles is very similar to that on the other Zika models like the 001 and we go on to the side and the windows are actually nicely blacked out especially on the rear so that's really nice to keep your privacy it has this straight sweeping line from the top with this dark bar all the way to to the back of the car and the rear tire is a 20 inch as well I'm really liking these rims I think they look really really cool and if we just press to open nicely damped so you have your charging your DC and your AC charging and then you press that to close it and then we come on to the rear part of the car and I like this feature I'm not sure if it's showing on the camera but the rear window wiper is recessed under the a hood or spoiler and then we come down here you have your Zika badging it's not a sticker it's actually a lighting that is laser cut through the the glass and so it's actually lighting not just a sticker and if you come down here you have a rear view mirror and if I just step back so you can see how the rear looks like so we move on to let me just whilst I'm here let me open the boot so we can see the boot space so you press to open electronically aided boot and if we go in here you can see the size of the boot it's a, not a, the biggest in the world but it's sizable enough for carrying all your load and if I go down here you have extra space for your charging cables and other stuff and then up here you have more charging as more space as well so even though from the first look of it, it doesn't look big you still have extra storage down and you have a 12 volt socket here as well for inflating your tires vacuuming the car and stuff like that and nice feature when you open the boot lid you have the rear lights turning on down there so that's a really nice feature for safety we'll just press to shut it and then we go on to the side of the vehicle so this front the right side of the vehicle will basically be the same or similar to the other side so let me just step into the rear seats or the open the rear door and this is what we have it's got this rimless windows and going down you have a very nice design um, layered sort of upholstery for the for the door 
and down here unlike the Zika 001 that ha comes with Yamaha speakers these are Zika's own in-house speakers but they sound quite good as well and then you have speaker grills here speaker grill there there are 21 speakers in all in this car and some very nice ambient lighting kind of like crystallized glass and there's some nice side skirts here to prevent water noise and debris and so when you are on a, on a bad weather day like a rainy day when you get in the car you're not going to soil your clothes with um, the debris from the road and if I just show you how the seating is so it's got these perforated seats in the front you have massage seats and uh, heated and cool but in the rear you only have he uh, heated seats which is good enough and if I just before I step in can take a look at the space that's a lot of space I moved the front seat to my driving position I'm 183 centimeters and I, there's still this much space in the back so it means that even for taller passengers it's going to be comfortable and when I just shut the door I'm going to show you a very nice feature here when I shut the door I can activate the sunshade which is really cool it goes all the way up and if I don't want it I just push it back down which is really really nice and there is this double button here for reclining the front seat so if I just push it both buttons then you have the front seat moving forwards and if I release it it stops and if I pull it backwards it comes back as well so if you don't have a passenger in the front seat you can totally do that to feel more comfortable and down here we have some storage for the rear passengers and down here you can actually buy like an aftermarket well after purchasing the car or at the time of purchasing the car Zika has a refrigerator so you can actually remove this whole thing by pulling this tab here and this whole thing comes off and you can replace it with a refrigerator you have some nice seat seat back uh, pockets and I'm sitting on the other passenger seat so this is what you see on the opposite side the vents are on the side very very nice instead of in the middle and up here you have a grab handle your rear lighting which are pressed to start press to turn on and off some nice speaker grill here and overall some nice mesh material very soft feeling for the uh, roof and then the seats actually are a very nice nice design so it's a pleasant view here from the back so you've got some shiny um, fingerprinted material but once you go up you have some nice feeling plastic and some sort of Alcantara material so overall very very usable space and a very comfortable seat to sit in the seats actually recess really nicely and so you don't feel like you're lying too far back and you don't feel like you're sitting too upright as well so um overall a very nice view from the back here so let's move now to the front so going in the front i'll just go into the driver's seat and again you have very nice doors here and door pockets area for bottles and other items the inside of it is lined with felt you can't see it with a camera but I can feel it's lined with felt and this is the button for opening the door just like on other Zika's and if I just step in now when you shut the door there is in the front there are two nice features here so there is this pocket here very nicely lined with felt for uh, maybe your sunglasses or glasses or any other wallet or anything that you want to store here it's really nice so it's only available for the front passengers so the passenger seat has it as well and I like the detailing in the seats some very nice detail in here and overall a, a really cool design of the seats but if you go down here you have the glove box glove box is opened using uh, a function on the screen and then here you have some nice soft material and the ambient lighting that was in the rear is continued here in the front as well so it's kind of crystallized and the colors can be changed to suit your mood and this is what we get on the steering wheel so 
It's a small-ish steering wheel that has all the functions that are used to control the screen. It has a very large, I believe, 15-inch screen that has all the functions, very, very responsive, very, very crisp. And in the middle, you have this you can open, just like on the one of the other models. And then if you need to secure a cup or a bottle from moving, you press this button and then this will engage, this will come out so you can sit your whatever you want in there. And if you don't need it, you push it back out. And if we just open this center console, it's quite deep in here uh, with this shallow one for putting coins and other small things and a very very deep one goes all the way to my elbow um, giving you some more storage space and it's lined with felt as well so it's not going to be things are not going to be rattling inside you got a 50 250 watt charging ports here so you're not going to fight with your passenger you have a mode button and boot opening button play stop button and there's this rotor for increasing the volume integrated in the Yes, the same rotor button doubles as the play pause button and you have some other buttons for other functions. Some more speaker grills and if you look over there you can see the uh, HUD heads up display. It has a lot of information, your GPS and your navigation, which rules you should take, your speed limits, camera, speed cameras and all that. And you have a small-ish sort of rear view, rear view mirror or rear view mirror but you can see a lot out of it so yeah overall a very nice interior i like white um i like the interior i mean at the time of purchase you can request other different configurations and up here you have a panoramic uh sunroof so the glass is not you can't open the glass cannot be opened but the sunroof itself can be moved uh forwards just to stop the sun from heating you up on very hot days and you can pull it back up there's a smaller screen for driver's information some very nice tactile button uh, tactile stocks for turn signals and you got your gear select stock here so yeah on the whole it's a very very nice car made by Zeker Zeker X7 that has just been released here in China it is your first SUV and so far it's looking really really good and I think I like the way it looks they've done a really good job mm -hmm.